Uh, a great call by Marcus to get us into the right play. A great job by the O-line, seven and one. And uh, everybody else doing their job. I know uh, three people went with Dre, so we both knew it was going to be a touchdown. Marcus didn't put the ball in the perfect spot, though. How important was that drive in the sense you guys drove well on the first drive and had the interception to come back and get points the way you did there? I mean, it, it, was, it was big. Whenever you have a, a negative things happen in the game, you want to see how how fast and how quickly you can uh, start things back again. And it was good for us to go right down uh, on a long drive, nine, play, nine plays, and score a touchdown. Is that, I mean, that, that's the type of drive that gives you guys confidence. And like, we can do this because when it looks right, it really looks right. It's, it's all about buying into the system, man. Um, what our coaches have been preaching from day one, and I think we're, we're doing a great job of buying into, buying into everything they're, they're telling us to do. And um, we're going to be great, man. We're going to be great around here. If we, if we keep working hard and you know, having one night is bad, we're going to be great. How do you feel that you guys have progressed, I guess, from one game to the next offensively? Um, we did a lot of great things. We did a lot of great things out there. So I don't ever uh, talk about the game until I actually watch the film. So we'll, we'll watch it and make corrections if we need. Does Harry look like a rookie to you out there? Nah, man, I tell him I, I don't even know how he lasted to the fifth round. I'm glad because he's with us. But... <laughs> From day one, though, from day one when I seen him, and he just has it. Some people just have have, have that it factor, and he, he has it. He has it. Well, is this an example of a little bit of last week that we talked about the running game? Mm -hmm. Today, the passing game is really a factor, that this, this offense can do whatever it needs to do? Well, that's one thing I love about this offense. Um, one day it may be running, one day it may be passing, one day it may be both. So uh, the, the, the coaches adapt to the players and their strengths. They put us in the best positions to to make plays and go out there and be efficient on offense every time we get a chance. So um, I love them. I was I was with them. I mean, they drafted me to Atlanta, so I know what we're capable of. I know I know what the offense can be. I know what, what it can do. So being able to have them here in Tennessee and uh, watching how they're growing so fast and so rapidly is great. Gary, a year ago, every practice, every game, I asked you about Marcus Mario. How's the rookie look? <laughs> here he is after two games in the preseason. It's 14 of 15, 9 to 10 today. How much has he progressed? A lot, and, and you've seen it the first day of uh, off-season workouts. You won't know who Marcus. You don't. I do legs on leg day, Marcus. And sometimes when we get the cleans, I have to step away. But man, he's in the weight room, back squatting 400 plus pounds, and that's that's not that's not normal for a quarterback. So he puts the work in, man. He puts the time in. He's the first here, last to lead. And uh, he's truly uh, dedicated to this team, and he's a great team leader. What does it say about his resiliency? Mm -hmm. He throws the pick on the ball that probably didn't have quite enough loft on it to, to get it over the defender, mm -hmm. and then comes back and directs a touchdown. Drive. Well, I said it last year, nothing bothers Marcus. Um, he's as cool as a fan as it gets. And, and you want that out of your quarterback because you don't want your quarterback getting rattled in games and, and, and thinking about things they probably shouldn't because something that happened the last series. So. He does a great job of moving on to the next play and, and focusing on being efficient the next play. Mike Malarkey's talked about how receivers you know, continually talks about how they need to be able to block in this scheme. Today, again, just like last week, you have another big block on the edge at free to run. Why is just that something important to you? Um, I don't know. I just I love the game of football. And anything that I can do to help our team win, I don't care what it is. I'm down to do it. I, I want my teammates to be able to trust me that I'm going to do it. Um, I've always been a team guy. Um, I'm, not, I'm not selfish at all. So I give all the credit to my teammates, man, because uh, they allow me to be me. You know what I mean? And uh, I just I just love them. I love being around these guys. Love them. Harry, you guys want to win, but coming off of today, it's a preseason game. What, what's the mindset as you walk out of the line? Um, you got to build. You got to keep getting better each week. You don't want to have a drop off. You never want to have a drop off. So you always want to incline and not decline. So. Um, our mindset is being physical, being tough, going out there and winning football. That's the only thing. Thanks. Thank you.